be talking about the projectile motion uh, program that I wrote. And we're just going to go over the code real quick. This is written in, in Lyclips with the Python language. Um, specifically, we import the Pygame library, which allows us to use Python to make a game, basically. And that's kind of why uh, I imported it. This is my first quarter ever even using Python. So uh, it may not look perfect, but uh, I thought it was kind of cool. So I decided to use it anyhow instead of Java. Um, all right, so this is kind of the same thing, but uh, we're only importing part of our math library, which um, arctan, pi, cosine, radian, sine, square root, and power uh, functions. So that might be a little more self-explanatory. Here we have our screen width and screen height. And this is basically what's going to define how big our background window is and the reason this is important is the units for the projectile are in pixels per second so it kind of you'll be able just to tell where it kind of lands how many pixels it traveled um, so you can skip over this stuff so here's our velocity which is just hard coded in we could change this to whatever and then the initial location um, we have some red and blue these are RGB color uh, and then we have our degrees, uh, which are, these are just uh, placeholders basically, our x parameter, which is our initial velocity, and our cosine um, degree without uh, the t parameter and y parameter. We have the height, which uh, I just have it set to zero, but if we wanted to change the height of it, it would change it in the formula so that it would still work. Um, we have a constant for gravity, which could be changed if we needed to change the gravity, for instance, if we were firing a projectile on Mars or the moon. Uh, distance, how far it traveled, the impact speed. So in our main method where it basically calls our code, you have to call in it to start pi game or else it doesn't work. Um, we initialize an explosion sound for every time you click. Um, the while true, this is where all the, the, the bulk of things are called. And here our location we get our x and y coordinate because when we click the program that's actually going to decide how uh, what angle it is so we're going to actually choose our own angle and it's going to call these functions that I'm about to go over so the hardest part of this program was to convert the angle proportionally based off how backgrounds and graphs work in the top left corner it starts at zero zero and moves outward and downward which is kind of counterintuitive at least for me so we got our rise over run we converted our angle um, took the arc tan of it we converted it into radians and we convert it into degrees and then we got the angle and returned it so this is how we get our angle in this case uh... lines and i, I got some of this code from invent with python i just wanted to give my gentleman credit um, in this case we're drawing a line so this is where you'll be able to see exactly where the angle is and this is where our X and our Y right here and uh, here this the arc will actually show the arc it's a little bit off um, like I said it's my first time using it but it still creates a, a realistic arc based off how it would fly and the height and everything in the process so in speed here this is kind of all our text this keeps track of all our parameters that we're going to be printing and it's because you'll see it constantly update every time we take a a new click and then in calculations this is where the bulk of uh, the calculations get done for our <laughs> projectile motion you can see here we're setting our we're calling the radian functions to convert the degrees that we have into radians we're then taking our speed limit times it by cosine and then uh, in here, just to make it more simple, we create a B, A, and C in the quadratic formula. For the Then we do the same thing with the, the Y parameter here that we did with uh, for sine, that we do with cosine. We get our T parameter from the cosine. We then get our distance here, uh, and then our impact speed. So, and then this just calls it all. So when we run this, we have a nice little window, nothing too fancy. You can see our cannon at the end here. At the top we have our velocity. Our angle's at zero, our height's at zero. Um, T is old. So if we go here, 
to hear a little cannon sound. You can see how this is our angle. It's going to be wide enough. A little higher. So this kind of... I, I actually... So yeah, so that's... See the value's changing for the angle. And it just crashed there because I went in the negative and it doesn't handle that input. But uh, it's a nice little program. It could be fun, uh, cleaner. You can see in the the graph here, uh, background. So it's about 700 by 700. And you can see that it's 216 pi pixels, which looks about right for the distance. So that should be about 400. And you can see just by going across of it. So that is my projectile motion video. Uh, end video.